seven times in my life. The armies of the long knives had destroyed our homes, burnt our crops, and driven us farther and farther from our homeland. By now, we numbered less than 20 hundred men, women, children, and ancients. The American armies always attacked us at harvest time, forcing us to face winter without food or shelter. Once again, we would be hungry and homeless. smoke from the town. We are almost there. Almost there, sister. Not much further. For 30 years, my son Tecumseh had been fighting to protect the people. Tecumseh, my son, warrior of warriors. The last warrior. Star Watcher. This little one. <sighs> Found her by the side of the road, crying. Take her to her mother. She's hungry. We are praying for you. My dear sister, always protect the people. Keep them safe. We will meet Harrison and his long knives tomorrow in the manner that I have yearned. It was cold like this, the night Tecumseh was born. We lived on the land of our ancestors. A mother never forgets the birth of any of her children because each child is special. But that night was magical. It was almost like before the long knives came and scattered us like autumn leaves. My daughter Star Watcher was the first to see the shooting star that went over our village that night. When the panther's eyes shot through the sky, it foretold that my son would be good and full of vision, the strongest of all our leaders. Your brother, a boy, a new son. And such a son. You saw the light from the sky? Yes. Like the eye of a panther when it turns at bay. Oh, what a man he will be born under this sun. Tecumseh. Panther in the sky. we allow them to burn our villages. Butcher our women and children. Destroy our crops. What yeah. says Black Hawk? The whites prey on the weak and the fearful. If they know we are strong, they will not take our land. We have to be they strong. kill until they learn fear. Only then do they run. Yes. Shall Shawnees live in fear? Oh. Oh. We must not. We will not. Oh. 
Bart right. Stryker speaks for the voice of a warrior. But before we make war over the long nights, we must be certain there can be no peace. You are our great leader, Gordon Stark. And your wisdom is known to all. But there has been too much talk. The whites are not to be trusted. I will never mark a treaty with them. Never! Never! We must take the war to the whites and punish them hard. Who sides with me? Me, Father! I do! I do. Did I do wrong today, Father? No, my son. You did nothing wrong. Boldness is never wrong. You were born under a great sign. You were born to lead. Then you forgive me, Father? You're destined to be a great warrior, Tecumseh. And a warrior must always remember he belongs to the people. Once he learns that, he has nothing to fear. Now! Go on, little brother. Good. Go play! Chase him! Can't catch me up too fast! Go on. Catch your little brother and make him squeal! I'm gonna get you! Come on, get him! Are you gonna get him? My brother Tecumseh can be anybody! What is it? What are they doing? Captured a white who says he doesn't like being a long knife. If he wants to be one of us, he must run the gun. White face is bad. Strike him as he goes past. Never cried out. Showed courage. Someday you will be a great warrior. Perhaps we should leave and move west. Never. You say the long knives outnumber us, but you urge us to make war. What is our choice? They bleed here, or we bleed all the way into the sunset. What if they win? Do you think of that? for you, Bart Stryker. We will win because we are better and because we are right. I cannot make war without our women's consent. You are their leader, Minotasa. Support me. I'm powerless without you. Two days later, a war party left to meet the Long Knives, including my eldest, my fierce Chixika. The white boy adopted and now called Blue Jacket. The young warrior was Segoboa. And my husband. Come home again to me.